So we've treated a lot of telangiectasias with this particular system, um, but really anything that has erythema or inflammatory component that involves erythema is going to respond well. So a good example of that is uh, people with some either a rosacea or a little bit of seborrheic dermatitis where there's a fair amount of vascular component. Um, here we take a slightly different approach. And you'll see how I will go over this area in, in almost a brush stroke manner. And it's low fluence and he hardly feels what I'm doing, I'm sure. But what I'll do is I'll do the whole area once and then I'll come back over it and I'll do it again. And where this is an ideal situation is that person who finds they have rosacea breakouts uh, that really only respond to taking oral medication and after a while people just don't want to take those pills. Uh, this is a great alternative to that. And that's all it is. And you know, there's no, there's no reactive blushing here, there's no reactive erythema, um, and, and this will respond over the next uh, week or so. It's not even like when we treat telangiectasias where the response tends to be at about a month. Here we'll see it at a week, and it's a very unique way of treating uh, this particular problem. You're done, Joe. Thank you.